Hello everyone and welcome to Marcus Plays, Super Metroid 100%. In the last episode we took out Fantoon and now we are exploring the wrecked ship a bit more. Let's push this guy down in the pit. Into the pit and yes it burns. There we go. Ow. And we found ourselves a new missile. It's really useful. Nothing more here, I think. No. Let's leave this place done. Ow. In here, we need to kill these guys again. Super missile. Thank you. I use normal missiles because they are. I have plenty to. I have plenty to. Plenty to waste. And they fire fire prep pretty pre, pre, pretty fast as well. That that's that's really useful. Jump out! Jump out here! And now we are leaving the wreck ship. That's right. We are outside again. What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> in here we have a back back into the wreck ship again, but there is nothing in here, so we're gonna leave this door empty. And also, remember this place here. You see, there's nothing here right now. Remember that till a little bit later. Now, first of all, we're gonna try to find these green platforms. Oh, what the? Got stuck. Let's move on this a bit. And uh, really soon we will see another platform above us. We can see it in the far end, and there it is. Jump up, jump up to it. And this music is still awesome. We will soon find a third platform right here. Let's go this way. Shoot this wall here, and a missile. Thank you. Now we jump down. Here we have a blastable rock with a super missile. So let's blast it. Now be careful here because there are a lot of lot of trip falls here that will uh, take you down to the lower area of this uh, quote unquote room. So be careful because we don't want to fall down. Not yet. Anyway, and another missile. Now we need to get back up. And this jump here can actually be a bit tricky sometimes. Really in my practice fight I have spent like a lot of time here because I couldn't I couldn't get it back. Ah there we go. Went a lot faster. Now shoot here and uh, go this a bit. Go this part here instead. An enemy spawn, don't care about that. <coughs> also, you remember that area I told you about earlier with nothing on? Well now, there is an enemy here! And this enemy is kind of special because this enemy homes into you and this is the only place in the entire game, game you, you will be able to see it. And it, and it can't, it can't, even con it can't even touch you. If you go over here, it will rock to the music! Yeah, that's right, buddy! Rock on! Sorry. <coughs> go into this room here. There's a lot of spikes here and a dead end. Can't go back. Good thing we have a grappling beam. Ow. <coughs> and uh, here we have a show so show so show so statue that let it grab you.
thank you. That was very that was very kind of you. Now we can go either go down here or we can go up here. We're gonna go down here first. Here, use a power bomb. <coughs> Let's blast these into the holes, the pits, because this time they will actually serve out. They, they will actually serve a purpose. Because you need you need to run over them a bit later on. Let's grab this missile to begin with. <coughs> and if we scan this area, the entire the entire statue is bomb is power bomb blowable. That that is now a word. Power bomb blowable. Let's run back to get these blocks out of the way. Let's run. Shine spark. Thank you. Let's jump across here. And here we have... A reserve tank. This is our third reserve tank. I think it's the third anyway. We can take a quick look. Yeah, it's the third. Awesome. Jump down here. Let's roll over here and back through into the store. So, what is our price for exploring this area? It's a lantern. It looks like a lantern. But it's actually the gravity suit. Another awesome transformation sequence. If you can call it that. I don't know, maybe. <coughs> now, this gravity suit allows us to walk freely in water. Earlier we could not do move so fast in water, but now we can do whatever we want. It's awesome. So, what to do now? Well, we're actually going back into the sunken ship a bit uh, once again, because there is more in here to do. I'm gonna take a quick look on the map. It looks good so far. Gonna try out this wall just for safety reasons. No, now let's go into this room here. Here we have one of those. Kill it. Now, thanks to the gravity suit, we can jump up here. We would not be able to do this earlier. <coughs> and in here we have another room filled with deadly spikes that we need to avoid. Note that these... These... Uh, I don't know what, what to call them. They do, they do not go to the top anyway, so you can hide as a morph ball here and don't take any damage. Now you, you, now, you can start wondering, why is this place here to begin with? Like, who left it here? And why is it here? What was it, what was its purpose? Well, sadly, none of these questions are ever answered. Not as long as I know, anyway. Ow. Anyway, here's a secret area, so let's go in here and explore its secrets. Here we have some of these sink platforms, if you're gonna call it that. We need a grappling hook beam here. Like this. And swing over. And an energy tank! Adjusting the microphone a bit. Like this. Awesome. Now we have seven energy tanks. That's uh, half of the total amount. So we are we're, we're getting close, we are getting close. Now let's leave this place. So, okay, I'm gonna ta talk... No, I'm gonna go through this door here, and then I'm gonna talk. Like here. Okay, here. 
You see this area here, to the far right? There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to be here. There are no items here, and there are nothing here of interest. But it's a really quick way into Meridia, and uh, since that's where we're going next, I decided to go this way. And also just to show it off to you guys. But it's... oh, it's nothing much special. It's just like... it's just, it's, it's just like the other places. Let's jump from platform to platform without failing. Unfortunately, I failed. Now we are almost out of time. We have three minutes left, so uh, it's not that bad, really. Plenty of time. <coughs> anyway, through this corridor here, we have another door. Uh, this room is a bit fun actually, it's kind of kind of like a maze, and you really 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 don't know what's going on here. Let's go in here. And I'm gonna scan here because I actually don't know. There's a bomb and fall down. Thank you. Thank goodness for the gravity seat, making this place so much easier. In here, a door. Power bomb this door here to open it up. And here we have an elevator down to Mer down to Meridia. Now we have been to Meridia earlier actually. Remember this that small part down at down at Rinstar? This that is Meridia and this is also a part of it. Now check out this map. Down at the bottom left corner is the lower lower Brinstar area and we are currently up here to, at the top right. Now to explain this best, Meridia is divided into into two parts. One part is technically just a big corridor, connecting this top right to the bottom left part. The second part of Meridia is where everything else is, including the area boss. And the only way to access that part is through the bottom left area. So we're gonna go the corridor through top right to the bottom left. That's our current plan, and I'm sticking to it. Let's freeze this, buddy. And in in there we have a save room, and it's been a while since I saved, so yeah, you know the drill. Saving, saving. And, uh, and also, this music this music is actually pretty good. But there is another music here in Meridia that's even better, actually, in my opinion. My opinion. I have, like, half a minute left, so I'm planning to get through this entire room in that time. I, I can just run. I don't have to kill these guys. They can live. This one dies, though. And you also dies. And you. And here. This place is dangerous because there are those claws and they got me. Anyway, now when I'm sinking down to the bottom here, this is gonna this is Marcus place 100% and uh, until next time stay awesome because I know I win. Bye.